Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. Guys, you didn't tell me that this microphone is as big as a boat. My goodness. Anyway, hopefully the sound quality is a lot better. For everybody that's new here, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. As everyone else knows, I love reading and replying to comments. Okay, so I got a couple stories that I want to cover. Biden's border crisis inside the new Texas migrant facility already at 700 capacity where children are going hungry and sleeping on the floor as struggling government prepares to house 3,000 teens at Dallas Convention Center 500 miles away. Wow, so it's at 700% capacity. See, all of this talk from Democrats and Biden and AOC for open borders and letting people in. Now we have a major crisis on our hands at the border and I imagine it's only gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better. What these people on the left don't seem to understand is that all Americans are giving, all Americans are compassionate. I take that back. Most of Americans, there are some out there that don't give a care, like the people that tell them that we're gonna open the borders for them, but instead we have them sleeping on the floors and going hungry. So where's the outcry? Where's the outrage? That's what I wanna know. Grammy ratings hit historic low. Only 8.8 .8 million tuned into this year's broadcast on CBS compared to 19 million last year. And here we have a perfect example of Hollywood left democratic people doing their thing. And what are the results? People are not watching. That should tell you something. That should tell you that Americans, people in America don't want to see this trash on TV. We don't want to see two women acting out sexual acts while on the other hand, you are trying to cancel Dr. Seuss books, kids books. We're just tired of it. We don't want to see it anymore. 8.8 .8 million, that's it? Some of the YouTubers out there get more than that. My goodness, you should be ashamed of yourself and embarrassed. Rescuers save elderly couple dangling over a 10-story gorge in their pickup after it swerved off Ohio Road. Safety chain hooked to their 30-foot campus saved their lives. Wow, some finally, some good news out of a bad accident. People are saved. Man, that's what I like to see when people come together to help each other out. Terrified Uber passenger begs high driver to let her take Will as he swerves and drives with his eyes closed with his passed out girlfriend sat next to him. Jeez, didn't your parents tell you not to take rides from strangers? And you might say, oh, well, this is the Uber app. Well, have you read the terms and conditions? I mean. I assume that somewhere in there it says that they're not responsible and they're not liable for anything that happens to you. Yep, probably pretty much. I mean, I could be wrong. Someone could point it out to me. But yeah, while you're up in the hospital laid up because of something like this, they're still making money. Deaf barista blasts Karen, who complained to coffee shop owner that she was unprofessional for using AirPods at work when she was actually wearing hearing aids. This is an interesting case here because nowadays people tend to wear those AirPods just about everywhere. And there was a time in the past where it was very unprofessional to be using earbuds or anything of that nature. So I could see that someone could mistake those hearing aids for AirPods. And maybe you shouldn't be in a position where you have to take orders or something like that if you have to wear that thing and people will start to think that you're being unprofessional. Very interesting case. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. On the screen, you should see the solution to the puzzle that I put at the beginning of the show. Please leave your comments on any of the topics that we cover today. I'd really like to know your thoughts. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.